Welcome back nail queens. In today's video I have an unboxing of the McCart nail monthly box. They sent this box to me in PR and I've never seen any of their boxes before so this is my first time unboxing one of these and I'm intrigued to see what they include in these monthly boxes. So first off here is this card for the Your Nail Lab monthly box. The little coupon code on there and let's get straight into these goodies. So the first thing my eyes went to are the gel polish bottles. I recently received their Disco Collection, which are glitter gels. So I'm very intrigued to try their solid gel polishes. It came with a red and a blue. How perfect is the timing of this right before 4th of July? A red and a blue. I think it's absolutely perfect. And this is the kind of blue I like wearing during 4th of July anyways. There's a bunch of nail charms in here. I know the packaging says nail, nail decals. I usually equate that to stickers. So these are what I consider like charms and gems. So there's a lot going on here. I have tried gems recently, so I'm not going to rule them out as being able to be good to use, but these, wow. <laughs> wow, these are huge. I don't know if I'd be using these. I don't know if they're my style. They're really, really cute, but not my cup of tea. And taking a quick little studio break for our little partner here who's helping us unbox the box. And I'm showing you guys two loose glitters. These are just pure glitter. You can mix them in with like poly gel, gel polish, builder gel, whatever you want, or just use it on top of your designs. Even dip powder. You can mix it with dip powder. Speaking of dip powder, this is a dip powder slash acrylic. It's apparently an all-in-one acrylic powder that can be used with monomer or as a dip powder system. So this looks like it's a silver dip powder. Let's zoom in here to see it a little bit better. It's going to be interesting to see the coverage of this when it is swatched. And they included a one-ounce size. Wow. All right, so here we have some clearish hearts and stickers. So yeah, the left is what I consider nail decals. The right is more like gems and stuff like that. So I like the variety of the stickers. I like that there's like some um, C curves there. Hmm, I'm going to be intrigued to use that. And this is a nail extension gel. If you've ever heard of poly gel, it's basically that. Poly gel is just the gelish brand name. So that there's different ways to call nail extension gel, poly gel, you know, yeah. That's what people know it as. So this is a blue color, another great blue. I love this shade of blue, so I love seeing that this is included. I'm assuming this is like a 4th of July themed box. So I want to get into playing with all these things, and in order to do that, instead of doing my own nails and messing that up, I'm going to be using these links from the Painted Desert. The Painted Desert sent these over to me to try out and see if I like them and review them. So we're going to try them out today as I swatch all of these items that McCart sent over. The first thing is first, I'm taking out basically the tips that attach to the links, the pink thing, and I'm just going to clip them onto here the way that they're supposed to be clipped. And they hold really securely as opposed to using like double-sided tack or anything like that. These hold on really securely. And I think they're called links because the pink parts attach to one of another so they can be displayed together or you can work on them separately. So that's also nice too. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a gel base coat to these two nails here. What I plan on doing is swatching the red and the blue gel polish. So I have to apply a gel base coat first. So not only is blue my favorite color, but I'm really impressed by this blue. Let me show you. It looks like a jelly color. I don't know. Have I tried jellies? I think I've tried like some sheer ones like this before, but in darker colors for the fall, but not by McCart. So it's very interesting to see a jelly-like color, but it is summer, so I shouldn't be too surprised. I am doing this over a white swatch, so it's not going to look as sheer as it would over a clear swatch or perhaps my natural nail. The red, though, that one is definitely more opaque. I wouldn't consider this one a jelly. I'm 
gonna turn down my light because this is not showing true to color. It's looking a little too bright. So let me change this real quick. All right, this looks more accurate to what I'm seeing. All right, so now I'm gonna do a second swatch of all of these colors, the blue and the red. And I'm still very impressed with how this blue is looking on the second layer. It's really nice. And I'm gonna do the red as well because I feel like that's what I always do with gel polishes is I like to do at least two coats. And then if I feel like it's not like opaque enough or it's streaky, then I'll go in with a third. So I also want to play with these glitters. They're loose glitters, so you can use them in practically almost any way you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to ombre them on top of the gel polishes. So I'm gonna put the darker blue on top of the blue gel polish, and I'm gonna put the rose gold glitter on top of the red gel polish. I'm already loving how this is looking. I probably should do something like this for 4th of July, just red, white, and blue themed. So blue on top of this, silver on top of white, rose gold on top of red, I don't know. Okay, I wasn't too sure how I'd like the rose gold on top of the red, but once I turn the light down so it's more accurate to life, I really do like it. So what I'm gonna do now, after everything is all set and cured, I'm applying the rubber top coat from the Painted Desert. This is basically a thicker top coat and it makes encapsulating things such as glitters and decals a breeze. It just really just hides all the grittiness and all the texture and makes your nails really, really smooth. So I really love this top coat from the Painted Desert. So now moving on, I want to swatch the silver glitter dip powder. It's also acrylic powder, but I mostly use dip powder. I am intrigued by acrylic. I actually own acrylic and monomer and all that stuff. I've just only touched it like two or three times. All right, so this is the first coat. This is what it's looking like. So I'm gonna dust it off and apply a second coat because that's when I feel like dip powders and acrylics are truly true to life. Okay, these links are pretty neat. I was able to work on everything individually and just link them together so I can see everything displayed side by side. Now I'm not good at using poly gel. I've always sucked at using it. So I am going to try it out, but no promises. I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn out lumpy as always it does for me. I think this is better used with like dual forms or as like, um, what do you call it, jelly tips. I'm like, I'm wearing jelly tips and I forgot the name. So yeah, I feel like maybe with jelly tips I would have better luck, but I just suck at sculpting, which is probably why I just don't dabble in a crook powder as well. As you can see here, my technique is pretty lumpy. <laughs> I really should have used like a dual form, but I'm not really sure how they work well on these links. So I just like, was like, I'm just gonna use this brush I have. So, um, oh, and I'm dipping in alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I totally forgot to mention that. That helps spread the poly gel. It's like a slip solution. So I'm just gonna give up on this poly gel right now. Um, I'm not sure how I like spreading it on this link. So for the rest of this video, this is what it is. This is what we got. We got the red, the blue, the silver, a great 4th of July set. What do you guys think about this set? Let me know in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching. Music